Welcome to Discover the Villages with Jana Raber. Last week, one of the questions someone asked if sawgrass was open, and we went and taped it on Tuesday and put it out on Wednesday, and wouldn't you know it, opened Thursday. We went there, and I tell you, it was packed. It was a great atmosphere. It, you know, it's not like the squares, the other squares. It is much more intimate. It's got tables and chairs where you can sit. They're very comfortable. And I'm sure everybody seemed to enjoy themselves. And I'm sure it's going to go over really well. We'll get back to that again in the next few weeks. A couple weeks ago, I interviewed Dave Harold, a volunteer with Patriot Service Dogs. Wow, good news. They're in a final five for a national competition and they could win a brand new Land Rover Defender. All they need is your vote and it only takes a few seconds. Scan the QR code, scroll down to the voting form, press the Patriot Service Dogs, put in your email address, Press my vote and that's it. Do that each day until November 6 and let's help this wonderful organization to be able to help even more veterans. Thank you. I know you will do it. Let's get on with the questions. And the first question is, is it a good time to buy in the villages? Absolutely it is. And I know you're going to think I'm biased because I'm in sales, but our properties here hold our value. And personally, I think that the house finds its own value. By that, I mean if you price it too high, it's going to stay on the market until it gets reduced to the right price and then it's going to sell and on the other hand if you price it too low you're going to have multiple offers people are going to say wow you know let's let's get it so um, now is a good time before the seasonal residents all come back there's more competition when uh, the months january february and march and we're having uh, some good inventory. So it's a great time to buy a house. And the second question is, what is happening in November? Well, lots. On the 5th and 6th, there's a craft show at Spanish Springs, and that's always well attended. On the 10th is the electric light party at Lake Sumter Landing, and the band is Blonde Ambition. Great atmosphere, especially after dark. The 11th is a tribute to veterans, and that's at Brownwood Paddock Square. I'll definitely be going to that one. On the 12th is a new car showcase. They show all the 2023 car models, and that's going to be at Lake Sumter Landing. On the 13th is Artist Around the Square. That's always interesting, and it's at Brownwood. On the 18th is the British Invasion Car Show cameraman's really looking forward to that one. And the 24th, of course, is Thanksgiving. Yay! I love Thanksgiving. So, on the 26th and 29th is the tree lighting ceremony, which is always quite spectacular. The 26th is at Brownwood, and the 29th is going to be at Lake Sumter. So yes, we've got a full slate 
of everything that's going on, and that's just at the squares. That's not including everything that's going on in the neighborhood and the rec center. So yes, there's plenty going on in November. Let's take a look at the MLS stats for the week of October 17th through the 24th. This week we had 22 solds. Last week we had 26. This week, 26 pending. Last week we had 33. This week we had 41 new listings and last week we had 32. This week we have 42 price reductions and last week we had 35. Now we haven't had as many sold or pending, but we're still getting listings and we're still getting quite a few price reductions. So let's see how the actives from last week were 231 and this week, I always love waiting for these numbers, it was 245. We're at Roberto's Restaurante and Pizzeria. And we are checking out the menu. We've ordered a glass of wine. And I'm loving this on the wall. It says, wine a, wine a little, laugh a lot. <laughs> I've ordered the chicken piccata, and cameraman has ordered the eggplant parmigiana, and they brought the salads out. We both ordered the Italian dressing, which looks wonderful. And with these awesome looking rolls, you would not believe how they smell. Fabulous. This is um, a garlic roll, and I'm trying to uh, keep from getting oil all over me. <laughs> Wonderful. This is very garlicky, and uh, I'm glad we're both having it. The salad was wonderful. The lettuce was very crisp and fresh, and very simple, but the Italian dressing made it Unbelievable. Our food has just arrived and you're not going to believe this. Just look at this. My chicken piccata is... Oh, look how fresh it looks. A huge piece of chicken. All the mushrooms and fresh vegetables. I can't wait to dive in. And cameraman's eggplant parmesan. I don't think I've ever seen a portion that big. All right, I'm gonna try a piece of this chicken. It looks fantastic. It is, it's got capers on top. Extremely tender. The flavor is wonderful. This dish is absolutely awesome. I mean, the pasta is cooked absolutely perfect. The sauce is wonderful. And all these vegetables that you have, never had chicken piccata before that I had the vegetables. They are very fresh and very, very good. And the chicken, I'm not kidding you, you can cut it with your fork. It is so tender and very tasteful. So now I'm going to have a taste of cameraman's and see just how that is. Tomato sauce is very authentic. Um, 
The cheese is really, really, really good. Overall, that is awesome. I plain parmesan. I fix it myself at home, but I've never fixed it like that. Trust me. <laughs> it is great. Not only has our food been excellent, but our service has been fantastic. Our waitress, Paula, she's been very attentive. She's been back here several times to check and make sure everything is fine, which is greatly appreciated. I cannot give that anything less than a 10. It was absolutely wonderful. I've got a meal for tomorrow. Uh, cameraman, I uh, wish I could say he had a meal for tomorrow, but as big as that was, he still was able to finish it. So, I enjoyed mine thoroughly. I'll be back. The service is wonderful and I can't say anymore. I'm at 1036 Pendleton Circle in the village of Largo, and this is a 3-2 Somerset model. Oh, beautiful flooring. This is engineered hardwood, and I love all these arches. Really make it look nice, interesting. This is a good size room. I love all the windows here. Brings in lots of light and they've got the wood um, cornices above. You have a formal dining, nice granite, eat-in kitchen, and plenty of cabinets. Gas cooking, stainless sink, and you do have a pantry. The lanai is glass enclosed. These windows here on the end slide open to let air in. They have some nice blinds up above. I really like this tile. And there's plenty of room out there if you wanna sit in the sun or grill, whatever. And I like how the homes behind are in a cul-de-sac so You've got the green space. You're not looking directly at either home. Let's take a look at the guest room, which is located in the front of the house. Oh, I love how tall these ceilings are. Nice size room and the closet has been customized. You've got your guest bath here. Shower tub combination. Tall ceilings as well. And here uh, you have double door entry and this is actually a den. It can be used as a bedroom, uh, but it does not have a closet. You could do a Murphy bed or uh, pull out. Oh, look how nice and bright it is with all the windows. This is the primary bedroom. Look how large this room is. And the tall ceilings, it, it makes it, you really have room for a sitting area as well. And you have a pocket door leading to the bath. You have double sinks, nice tiled shower, and another very nice customized closet. You have a linen closet here and a separate water closet. There's three lovely windows and they all are topped with a wood cornice. And the laundry room is conveniently located adjacent to the primary suite. All right, to sum this beautiful home up, 
It's got 1887 square feet. It's in the village of Largo, which is just south of Lake Sumter Landing. And it is, has architectural details that make it very interesting. And it has a glass enclosed lanai. The primary suite is very large. Beautiful engineered hardwood flooring. It has been recently painted inside and out and the price is $489.9. If you are interested in this home or any other, please don't hesitate to give me a call, text, or email me. I hope you found that informative. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so and hit the like button and also, please remember to vote for the Patriot Service Dogs. That is such a worthwhile organization. And all you have to do is scan the QR code. It's very simple. And we will be next week showing you the Halloween happenings from Brownwood on Friday night. Until then, bye. Hello, and discover. <laughs> Oops. So. This is really garlicky.